Welcome back everyone to GTU. We're in the kitchen in today's sponsored segment with Ruthie Knudsen. We're making autumn apple strudel with clove chocolate glaze. Now doesn't that sound delicious? And you're making it with doTERRA ingredients. Yes, because there's a trick that you, I'll show you at the end with the chocolate. Okay. Usually you cannot flavor your own chocolate because most things are made with a water base. Oh, but when okay. you're using the oil, it blends in and is a perfect way to flavor like anything. Peppermint, clove is perfect for autumn. So that is a little fun trick that you can do at home okay, when so you're melting we're, chocolate. We're dealing with apples. Yes, we're making apples. Then apple strudel, we're gonna start with the filling. This is a traditional like German recipe. Okay. So I use coconut sugar because it hits a little lower on the glycemic index. Oh, yes, it's I about didn't know half. There's coconut sugar. Yes, it's really it's much it's healthier for you. It's about half as um, sugary, Regular I guess, sugar. as white sugar. Okay. Yeah. And so to that, we're just going to begin our marination of the apples, which we're putting golden raisins snipped apricots, and then the golden the apples. You can use golden delicious or ambrosia, um, something that is sweet but going mm -hmm. to cook just easily. And it still maybe has that tiny bit of crisp. Yes, left. exactly, okay. exactly. Right. So cinnamon bark, we do three drops, and you want to watch carefully when you're cooking with oils. Because I they are more potent than you realize. Mm -hmm. They're more potent. That. Mm -hmm. And I love having robust, flavorful mm. collection um, right at my fingertips. Clove is just one drop, so we'll watch that. And I've actually been cooking with doTERRA essential oils since like 2008. Wow, a yeah. long time. And yeah, Cooking I really with love Ruthie them. is your website, and yes. you're a chef. You do all types of recipes on yes. there. Yes. In fact, this is one from culinary school that I adapted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so glad so. you're sharing it with our GT viewers and yeah. with us here in the kitchen. <laughs> all right, too. so what's next? You have the phyllo dough. Mm -hmm. So we're taking the phyllo dough, and the great thing about this is that it saves so much, so time. much work. <gasps> When you buy it pre-made um, at the store, the tricky thing about it is it's re very thin. It's like thin sheets of pastry dough. Oh, so you can't just take the whole thing and lay it down. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take each one apart. You, well, okay, so the idea of getting flaky pastry is to have e some kind of, I'm using cooking spray for the bottom three or four layers because I like to put the calories where they count. <laughs> uh -huh. So I'll do the butter on the top too and, and easily spray these with olive oil cooking spray. Uh -huh. And you have to have some kind of oil to make the layers separate. Because then it'll just be all together. And exactly. it's not as fun to eat and not as flaky, right? Not as flaky, right. Okay, so we've got so three or four. We're doing that and now we'll do butter because because that's where you can taste it. That's where it. you can taste and it. And like you said, where <laughs> it counts. Where it counts. So you want to work with it in a way that's gentle and because it can tear easily when you start applying the butter. And you can get phyllo dough anywhere in the freezer or is it the yes. refrigerator section? It's in the freezer, freezer. and it's this is a good company. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are a couple of others out there, but. And you're just filling up Yes, so you can see that our filling has started to get moisture. You put it right down the middle mm -hmm. so you can fold it. So exactly. you only need a few layers, is that correct? Yes. Oh, we you're not using the whole thing. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're using six layers. Uh, you could do more if you wanted to, but then you might have more filling or more layers of dough than the filling. <laughs> <laughs> so we fold up one side, the top and the bottom. Like and tuck the other over, exactly. <gasps> ah, okay. And then this is like glue, the butter on top, holds everything. Oh my gosh, just like that. Okay, yeah. so we need to move on to the chocolate because we've got one minute left. Okay, so this okay, is so the fun part. Help? Yes. Mm -hmm. We make it look like autumn. <laughs> and to this dark chocolate, we're going to add one drop of clove oil mm -hmm. and then drizzle, and I, I left it pretty free flowing because I wanted it to look like, oh, it smells so like good. tree branches. And Ruthie, <laughs> by the way, you've got some um, doTERRA in your diffuser. 
Oh right yes. Now. What in smell fact, is that? That's amazing. It's a new blend. It's called Harvest Gathering, mm -hmm. and I've had it going all week. I was creating this recipe with it going, and it was like heaven. <gasps> yeah. Do you want to hope? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. And then so we have what are these, these pumpkin are, seeds? Mm -hmm, pumpkin seeds okay. and golden raisins. All right. And then you're just going to bake this. Well, we bake it at this stage. Oh, bake I'm it sorry there, about and then that. when it comes then out, when it comes out, this is then ready to go. Then you put the go. chocolate over. Exactly. And, oh, and the dried fruit yes. and the raisins. <laughs> yes. Yum. <laughs> this is delicious. We're going to cut into this over the commercial break. Yes. It's going to be delicious. I know it. This recipe is at DoTerraRecipes.com. You can also find Ruthie at um, CookingWithRuthie.com. We'll have a, a, a recipe on our website too. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thanks for that sponsored segment as well. And up next, we are working with something good that's coming up. It is to kick cancer, Reagan. Ah, which is a great cause. Then an event your kids will love, pumpkin patch food, games, kid zone. It's all coming up this weekend. Stay tuned for those details. And sweater dresses are all the rage this fall. See how to replicate Ariana Grande's sweater look.